Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm working on my fall wreath. I told you guys in my haul yesterday that I want to get this done so I can get my porch decorated up for fall. Um, I did one of these, I thought it was only like a year ago or two, but it's actually been over three years. Um, and my fall wreath was looking a little faded, a little, well, like I said, one of the little pumpkins that I had, one of the birds chewed it because <laughs> I guess they thought maybe it's real, but they took a hunk out of it and no, it was styrofoam. But anyway, I'm just going to tell you what I'm using here. I'm going to go real quick here, hopefully, because uh, these do take quite a bit of time to make, but it won't take that long for you guys because a lot of steps I'll do off camera. Um, but anyway, I figure I'll just show you as I'm going here what I'm using. So first off, you're going to need some of this decorative mesh. Now this is from Dollar Tree. You don't have to use the Dollar Tree mesh, mesh if you don't want to. Um, but I am just because, you know, it's more affordable or whatever. But it doesn't matter. This is going to look fine. This mesh, I told you guys, is like really sparse anymore. The, the, the weave is really far apart on these. But you know what? I've used this before to use this to do this method of making one. And it came out just beautiful. So we're going to make another one. So I got this 14 inch wreath form. This is from Dollar Tree. This one's silver. I don't know when I got this one. But it doesn't matter what color it is. They have brown ones sometimes. They have green. They have... I don't know what other colors they have, but it's just the 14 inch um, wreath ring. And that's usually in like the floral section, most Dollar Trees. And then you're gonna need eight rolls. If you're using this kind, I'm gonna be using eight rolls, I believe. I'm almost positive that's what I used on the last one was eight rolls. This is six inches wide by five yards. So, um, and then you're gonna need some pipe cleaners to attach these on here. Some people like to use zip ties. Um, I find that a lot more cumbersome. I have a hard time with the zip ties. But anyway, I just have these. It doesn't matter what kind you have or what color, really, because you're not going to see them. They're all going to be on the back. Um, and you can cover that back up, too, if you want to, if you don't want to see it, like, through a, a glass door or whatever, wherever you're hanging it. But it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to take these, actually, all of these right now. Now, if you want to leave some really long... To attach other things you can but I'm going to take these and I am going to cut these in half all of them that I'm using here what did I do with my wire cutters I'm just going to cut these little guys in half and then as I go along here I'm just going to attach them as I go some people like to put them all on um, at one time but my first one I always attach on one of these crossbars so it does not, you know, slide on you anywhere. So that's what we're going to do with this one. I'm just going to put this on and just give it one twist just to hold it in place, just like so. And then that's what you do with all of them. As we go here, we're going to just use these center two rails of all of these. Let me get these out of the way for now. And then you're going to take your wreath. I'm actually doubling up. Take your wreath. Take your mesh. I'm actually using two rolls. I'm just laying them both together here and I'm just kind of trying to keep them nice and neat here, unrolling them together. Now to start, I just kind of bunch this up and I leave, I don't know how much I usually leave. Let's measure. I usually leave about a little over two inches just so I can tuck this in when we're all said and done. And then you're just going to twist that on there like so and then tuck your ends over and then you don't even have to cut these when you're done the last one I did I had to cut them or whatnot but see that holds that nice and secure all right so now we're going to make eight inch bubbles I call this the bubble method everybody has a different name for them but to me they look like you're making little bubbles so we're going to I put a piece of tape on my table here you could mark it if you wanted to whatever you're using on but this is eight inch piece of tape masking tape that I just put down here because each one of these bubbles we're going to make are going to be approximately eight inches. And then when you do that, you're just going to pinch it together. And I forgot to put my pipe cleaner on first. <laughs> I'm on a roll already. All right. So you're going to want to attach your pipe cleaners so you can attach this next bunch of bubbles here. Okay. Let's do this again. Eight inches. Pinch it together. And then where you have it pinched, you're just going to take your pipe cleaner and then just really tightly get them down in there so it doesn't go anywhere. And then all you got to do is just tuck those over 
and be done with them. There you go. And then you're going to slide that all the way up to your first one. And it just looks like a little bubble. Now when we're done putting, I'm going to do like, each one of them gets like a section of 12 of these bubbles in here. And then and when I get done with the first section, that's when I usually go in and then just open these up. If I can get it out of there. There we go. And then this is how this is going to kind of go all the way around. And then you've got these nice poofy little pieces here. All right, so what I said, we're going to do 12 of those. And here I go again without putting my pipe cleaner on. I'm going to attach my next pipe cleaner and just give that one little twist to hold it there. And then we're just going to measure our eight inches. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but get as close as you can to the eight inches. And then we are just going to snug this one down here. And then we're just going to keep going here with our things. And then we're going to push that one up to the top and then slide it up nice and close to that first one. And that's how we're going to go around here, all the way around actually. It's just really easy. It's a little time consuming, not bad. But um, once you get in the groove of it, there's nothing to it. So you just keep measuring your eight inches. The only problem I have is these things don't want to always stay <laughs> the way I want them to. But there we go. We're just going to tie that one here. Give it a good tight twist and then tuck them under. And there you go. See, there's really nothing left. Whoops, I missed the thing on that one. Nothing left to even cut off down there. If you just tuck them in, you're pretty much all done. Because I used to go back and make them long and go back and trim them off. So I figured there's got to be a better way. And for me, this is it. All right. So let me get my next one on here. Give it a twist. And we're going to measure our eight inches and squeeze that together. Tighten it up a couple times. And there we go. And then just push, stand it up. And then just push that up to that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that until I have 12 of these bubbles. And then we're going to start opening them up and show you how pretty this is going to look. And then I will be right back. All right, I got that first set of 12 on here. Now I'm just opening all these up. It's just easier to do these one section at a time because once you get it all um, filled in, it gets kind of hard to see what you're doing. But why am I finding this hard to see what I'm doing? <laughs> but anyway, just get in your loops here and just pull the one out from under the other. And... Um, there you go. Then these babies just puff right up. Come on out of there. There we go. So open them all up and look how big and full that looks right there. It's going to be so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I think if you wanted to cram another one in there and do 13, um, you could probably do that too, make it a little bit more fuller, but then you would probably need two more rolls of this uh, mesh and since this is all I have we're going to stick with the 12 but I think that's fine you really can't see anything in there and we're going to be putting lots of decorations on top well not lots but pretty several so I'm going to finish going around here and I'm starting now on this other side of this second rail here where it splits and I'm going to put 12 in each one of those going around so hopefully it's all going to come out perfect. So once I get them all on here, we're going to come back and then we can start decorating this. All right, guys, I got them all in there. Look how pretty. See, even with this nasty old cheap mesh, it comes out looking really, really pretty. So you can't even be mad about that. All right, now for the center of this, I decided I want to use this little sign that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to take this off of here. This was a dollar twenty. Um, I'm not going to use the string, so we're going to take that off. Because I'm going to add some wire to that to hold that on there. Now, I actually poked a couple more holes in here. I just took an awl. I mean, this stuff is pretty thin, and I just poked holes right through it with this awl just to um, I think I'm going to add some more wire down towards the bottom to hold it because I don't know if that's 
I should probably be fine, but I may just add maybe one down here just to hold it so it lays straight. So anyway, I'm gonna take some of this floral wire from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna make it really long so I have plenty to work with here to get through all this mesh. So I always use more than I'm gonna need. But we're gonna take a couple pieces of that here. I don't know how long this is. I don't know, just make it really long. Um, I kind of measure it like this way so you see it, how it sticks up there and then make it a little bit longer because I just want to be able to get that through all this mesh and be able to hook it. So I'm just going to take this through this hole here and pull it up, make it even with my wire and then I'm just going to give that a little twist in the back just to keep that back there. Oops, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this hole here. And then I'm going to see how this lays, um, whether or not I need to put more down on the bottom. We shall see. We're going to figure this out together. All right. Or you could use like one of those wooden signs or whatever. I'm going to stand up here so I can see that I get this right in the center. I think that's good right there. So now, whoops, I didn't twist that in the back, did I? I told you guys to, but I didn't do it. <laughs> All right. So now you got to find your, what is going on? Why am I doing this wrong that it's coming loose on me? Sorry, guys. All right. Now it's twisted on the back. All right. So we are going to take one end of this wire and get this down through here. And pull it out the bottom. This is why I made this a little extra long. And then this piece can come down over here and go through the bottom. Um, oops, I'm knocking things on the floor. All right, let's push that back together. And does that look right about there? You know what? I'm just going to do this loose just a couple of times. And um, there we go. I'm just going to leave that hang there. I'm not going to cut that off yet in case I need to readjust this. And then let's see. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to put at least one down here to hold this down. All right. So now we're going to find a space over here and get these wires through. You know, just put one on one side of it, those center ones, and one on the other side. So when you flip it over, you can give it a good twist. All right. I think that's going to be right, just right there, but definitely going to have to put one down on the bottom to keep this where you want it. All right, so let's give this a few good twists here. And then we're going to flip this back over. See the back? The back is all different colored. I mean, if you really want to go out and get yourself some nice orange or so they all match. I mean, I'm really not that particular. Um, so, or you can cover that up with a piece of felt if you don't want to see the back of those. But mine's going to be on the door. You're not going to see it. All right, I think that's pretty good there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a wire down here. So I may do it on both sides just to keep this little bugger from moving on me. All right, let me grab a couple more pieces of wire. All right, I'm going to put the wire through these here and hook them down just like I did up there. So this video is not going to be like too, 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 too long. But that's it. Just going to add a couple more pieces of wire, and then I'll be right back. All right, we got that on there. Um, so I cut all the, I tightened them up all real good. Um, I don't know, about four or five times I twisted the um, wire, and then I just cut them off. So there's the center. Now I have some other decorations I want to put on here. So I'm going to move this out of my way for now, just so we can see how we're going to make these. I want to make some of these pretty, pretty bows. I have a few of them made already. I use this Dollar Tree ribbon. These are two and a half inches. 
by three yards. So I've got this orange here, and these are a wired ribbon too, by the way. Um, this is more of a satiny wired ribbon, but how pretty is this? I love this. I've been wanting to use this for something, so it's just really, really nice. So we're gonna take those, and um, all I did to make these was, you don't have to worry about straightening them out until actually, until after you get them on there. Um, I cut 12 inch pieces. I cut one of the orange and two of the pretty pumpkin pattern. And then I put them all together like so. And then we are just going to fold that in half and then cut our nice little point on here. Oops. There we go. We can get them all done at the same time. Flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Easy peasy. And just into a little point like that and there you go you have all your pieces so now what you're gonna do is we're gonna get a piece of wire and again I make it really long because I want to put this all the way through the wreath so ooh, it's hitting me in the face probably way too long but I have to have a little more instead of not enough all right so I'm just gonna kind of fold this in half here and then we're going to take, get rid of those pieces, we're going to take our ribbon and then we are going to kind of just pleat it or pinch it, whatever, like a couple of times here to make it look all pretty. And I'm going to fold it up just to make sure I have it in the center. So right there looks good. And we're going to take our wire and put that right in the middle. And then give that a few good twists. First, I want to make sure I got it right. It looks pretty good right there. All right, so then we're just going to take this and just give it a few good twists. There we go. And that's all we're going to do for that. Now, we're not going to open these up yet because, you know what, they're going to get all messed up as you're putting them in the wreath. So you may as well just wait until you're done. Now, what's going to go in the center of these is some leaves. I have a bunch of these leaves here. And... We're going to use these pumpkins right here. Now, what happened to the one? There's the one I dropped. Okay. So, we are going to use these cute little pumpkins here, which I painted. And I'm going to show you what they look like before. As soon as I get these out of here. Where'd you go? Here it is. This is what they look like before. And they look too, I always say, they look too much like a tomato to me. So, you can see the difference in the color. This is orange. This is tomato. <laughs> but they have these little clips on the bottom. Now, if you're going to keep this outside, like if it's going to be like in the sun or something, you might want to leave that clip on there instead of hot glue because I'm going to hot glue mine um, because my porch is covered. It's in the shade. But if you are going to put this out in the sun, I would leave this clip on. That way you can just clip this whole thing together and not worry about that hot glue wanting to come off. But... And then you can just paint them too if you want to. Just leave the clip on there or take the clip out, put it back in, whatever. It works for you guys. But the, these come, I forget how many, if it's four, I think four in a pack. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. I don't have the pack here anymore because I dumped them all out <coughs> a while ago. All right, so we're going to take some of these leaves, some of these pretty, pretty leaves. We're going to glue them together like so. Let's take some different ones here. I just broke all these off of some of the leaf stems from Dollar Tree. Just snap them right off. I don't think I want that one. I think I want this one for here. Um, and then just glue these all together. I think that'll look nice. So we're gonna put that one on there. Uh, there we go. Like so, you could add more, or less, whatever you want to do. Um, some people like to put big bows on these wreaths, but I think it just takes too much away from it. So now I'm going to take one of these pumpkins and glue it right in the center of these leaves. Here we go. There we go. And that's actually going to get glued onto here once those get in there good. So I got to make a couple more of these here quick. Um, doesn't matter how, what colors you use whatever you want to do. That's the fun of it. 
Put that one here. Let's see what do we got. This is a pretty one. Let's put this little guy on here. Put him here. Let me make sure some of these are glued down a little better. All right, give me another pumpkin. Two, these already have glue on them. Some of these are from my wreath that I took apart. I think I only have one here, and I can't tell which one it is now that uh, <laughs> I just repainted today. Because I had four on the other wreath, and like I said, one of the birds outside chewed that up. I don't know. I think I'm only going to need three. I don't think I want to do four. I think it's going to be too much. So we're just going to do... One more. Put this little guy. You sit over there and behave. Um, oh, I'm going to need a couple more leaves. I thought I had enough. Let's see. we got leaves right here, so we're just going to pull them right off. One of our little stems. Let's see. Where's a pretty reddish colored one? Here. There we go. So, let's see. Whoops. Mm, it doesn't really matter. Glue webs are getting me now. They were doing pretty good here. Not bugging me today. <laughs> All right, uh, where's the other pumpkin? Stick him in there. All right. So now we have all those done, and I am going to actually put these to the side now and bring that wreath back up here. Let me set you over here to cool. Oh, the webs. That's one more leaf I didn't see. All right, let me set them over here. Grab this wreath back. And I think I want to start down here at the bottom with my first bow that's going to go in here. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out where the center is. Yeah, I was going to do four, but I think I'm going to just do one here, like one here and one up here. Um, I just think it'll be a little too much with more of them. So... Let's get this down here. Get my wire in. You just shove these aside and just pull them through. Easy for me to say, right? There we go. Come on now, why can't I get a hold of it? It's in there. There we go. All right, that's one side of it. And where are we? I think I'll put this up through this way. If I can get my fingers to do it. Nope. All right, we got that wire there, and I need it to, well, that's fine if it wraps around there. All right, so let's see where we're at here. I think right about, I want this one up a little bit more. All right, right about there. You can mess around with these. So again, I'm just going to kind of snug this a little bit. I'll tighten it up more after I'm done, after I make sure. That's ex nope, that's too tight. You don't want it to go way down in your uh, mesh either. It's not going to look right. So that's got to come up. And then once I shove that mesh back, it'll be fine. That was going to be way, way too low. Okay. That's better. And we can just push our mesh back underneath it that we pulled apart. That will look pretty centered. Yes. All right. So we are going to pull these little babies apart now. Let me actually tuck that underneath that wheel. And let's see. Where are we at here? We're going to put this one down here. And I think I'm going to tuck this one under this wheel also. I don't want it to take away from this pretty little wagon. I shouldn't even really be messing with this this much until I finish. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to take one batch of our leaves here. I think I want that one because this one's a little bit bigger. And we are just going to put a whole bunch of hot glue on here. Like I said, if you're going to put it outside, wire it back on, clip it back on. All right, I need to stand up here so I can see. 
because I want those leaves to go up. All right. I think that's good. I may pull that ribbon back out of there. No, I don't want to hide that wheel. I change my mind a lot, guys. Don't, don't, don't mind me. All right, so that is going to be on the bottom. I'm going to bring that up this way more. Oh, that looks good. There we go. I'm going to tuck it way up behind there. Yeah, so that's how that will look on the bottom. Don't shoot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead here, and I'm going to take two more of these bunches that I have here, and um, we're going to stick one here, and we're going to stick one over here, and we're going to put some more pumpkins in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, because it's the same old, same old routine, and when I get that finished, I'll be right back. All right, guys, there it is. Um, I have it hung up here on my wall. I put those last two in there and fluffed them up a little bit. Yeah, four would have been way too much for this. Um, but yeah, I don't even usually put this many ribbons on my mesh wreath. But I thought let's do something a little different this time. And I love that little wagon in the center, even though this ribbon now is blocking the wheel. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, so there it is. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.